Guys, I wanted to share this quote with y'all because it really caught my eye and um, it's a great thought. Now, the context here is that um, uh, these two people were talking. You can see the name of the, of the, uh, the video. These two people were talking about how the intellectuals always analyze the problems of the lower class, the, you know, the poor people, that sort of thing. And this is where this quote begins. He says that they, you know, they analyze, they, they spend all this time thinking about ways to help the poor and the disenfranchised, and etc. But he says, seldom has this attention been directed towards how the less economically successful might improve themselves by availing themselves of the cultures around them. So what I thought when I first heard that was like he's saying, like, hire yourself out. But as he, he later on in the video, and again, here's the name of the video. Um, later on in the video, actually, um, just like what you would do as a business, if you see certain business practices that are working for others, you adopt them for yourself. So that's what he's talking about. And what I thought about, because I had this conversation with people before, I had a coworker who was, uh, I had an Asian coworker. And he would challenge me on a lot of stuff I would do. He would challenge me on how much money I was spending uh, on not saving money. Um, and what he was saying is that culturally, in his culture, people very rarely spent a whole lot of money on themselves. They, they pretty much invested the money in themselves. Also, also um, because of how, how shady the government is, most people bought things with cash. So as a result... They didn't really have they didn't have the debt that we struggle with here because they had that they had a habit of buying things with cash. So he would talk to me uh, about that a lot. And then um, he would ask me questions about our culture of like, hey, like, why do you guys kick your kids out when they're 18 and then they go out and live on their own and they struggle? And, you know, they, they struggle and then you have all your kids out and basically everyone is struggling on their own. So, you know, I, you know, I explained to him why people tend to do that, to teach him responsibility, et cetera. What he was saying, and I'm not trying to say that, you know, Asian culture is automatically better. This is just something that, you know, basically we need to be more open minded in how we handle things. We can learn from other people. Um, what he said is that in his culture, um, in his culture, that the people stayed together in the house. They stayed together in the house. And they saved money. They helped each other save money. And then when they had enough money to buy a house outright, they would move out. That's when they would move, when they had enough money. Not like, okay, you got 3000 for your deposit. Like, no, I got $20,000. I got $50,000 saved. This is now I'm ready to move out to go get a house. And that's how they would conduct themselves. And you know what? His personal life, um, his personal life kind of lended itself to that. I mean... I watched him put down like fifty thousand on the house. He put down. He basically bought a, bought like a fifteen thousand dollar car with cash, and he worked at the same place I worked. That really made me think about my life. And you know, people like to make fun of Mexicans for all living in the same house and and, and that sort of thing. But you know what? You know how much money they saved doing that. You know how much money they saved doing that. Um, we like to make fun of people. Make fun of Jews and how cheap they are, or whatever. But they have money to invest. Um, think about, you know, and it's like, you know, we're so quick. And then think about if you think about people with uh, ideals or, or mor 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 morals that kind of lends themselves to not having sex before marriage and things like that. Like we make fun of them. We, you know, a lot of us make fun of them and think that's stupid and that sort of thing. But if you look at people who believe that and actually practice it compared to people who don't like look at our communities like look our communities are so broken our households are so broken and that is like the foundation of a lot of our problems so so while we make fun of them uh some of the stuff that we mock and ridicule of others are actually good uh practices and habits that allow them to to thrive and to be successful you know and just think about it, like people that stay together and they live in a household, obviously with reasonable amount of space, not cramped up on each other. But um, you think these people have to pay four hundred a month? Uh, you think these people have to pay four hundred dollars a week for childcare? No, they watch each other, kids. They help each other. 
So it's, you know, my whole point is not to bash our culture, you know, but it's like we can learn. And this quote just says it all. You know, it's always about when it comes to poor people, it's always about change the rules to fix them. Give them a boost. It's never about actually how can we help them? How can we help them change their behaviors so that they are building up empowerment? They're empowering themselves that they are taking more control of their own destiny. There's nothing wrong with helping people who need it. However, when you help people too much, you know what happens. They tend to do less and lower their standards. So that's just what this quote is about. And I think it's an awesome quote. And if you, you watch this video, thank you for taking the time to listen.